Good morning, guys. If you missed our last video, it was crazy. <laughs> we had a crazy, crazy snowstorm here yesterday. And today we woke up to a beautiful winter wonderland. Um, yesterday was just wild. It basically snowed for 24 hours. We didn't know what to expect um, because I guess the where we live in like middle Tennessee, um, the average snowfall for the year is like eight inches. So, you know, you might get an inch here or there. Well, we got a total of eight inches in 24 hours. Everyone was shocked, huh? Everyone was shocked. It was so much snow. It was so much fun. It was a very, very cold day. Um, it snowed all, literally until bedtime. Um, but the snow is done falling, which is really nice. Now we can actually go enjoy it. Brielle has yet to even touch the snow. So we're going to get her all bundled up here, I think, in a minute. And let her go experience a little bit of sledding and a little fun. Does that sound good? Yeah? If you missed yesterday's video, though, go check it out. Um, I'll have it linked down below in the description. It's our last video, and um, <laughs> the excitement is just unreal. We were just, we've never experienced a snowstorm. I mean, Brian and I grew up in Idaho, so we've done it. We've done snowstorms, but this was the first time, like, the, the boys experienced a real snowstorm. They've seen snowfall when we were, like, up in the mountains, and it might have snowed, like, a little bit, but this was... A, truly a, a magical experience for them so um, we've just been dealing with farm animals I'll show you guys around a little bit but it is a frigid frigid day today I think our high is 20 and right now it's about 11 degrees outside so it is icy cold this snow is not melting anytime soon and we actually are trapped at our house we cannot get down our driveway because we live on a very steep driveway. So we are trapped <laughs> until, until further notice, until it completely thaws. Um, luckily we were pretty prepared. Switched my flight from North Carolina to be home a day early and I got home just in time. All the flights actually ended up being canceled so I would not have even been home in time and I might not have been home for a while if I hadn't have switched my flight. So I'm very happy I did that. It's just been a crazy past few days. You guys can catch up on all our videos links below down down in the description you can go check out our homepage and see all the videos all right we are out in the goat's pen breaking the water they're very excited to see us what how thick is this thing yeah how thick is that ice i can't even get a good wow here let me get you the strainer <laughs> yeah, I think they're both like, yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks for letting us see it. <laughs> On my eye Those are probably from the deer. I saw deer under these trees earlier, so these are definitely their tracks. <laughs> Ollie's gonna go check for deer poop. <laughs> you can buzz his little tracks. Yeah, these are definitely the deer tracks. They walked through and on over. Wow. So much smell. Yes, I 
Kind of nice in here, huh? Mm -hmm. We are taking a walk through the property after we just got eight inches of snowfall last night and yesterday. And we are on our way to the pond to see if it's frozen. Let's go check it out. Look at the pond. I think it's completely frozen over. Yesterday it was just like slush. Our pond is completely frozen over. Maybe it's slush, but this is still all Alright, throw it in. Let's see. Wow. Try and find a rock. All right, throw the stick on it. Let's see. <laughs> wow. Very nice. Unfortunately, this girl did come home with a little bit of a cold, um, and so we are dealing with that. So we're just gonna get her all bundled up, let her experience a little snow. Maybe she can, maybe she can uh, fold all this laundry afterwards. That sound good? <laughs> all right, we've got tights, pajamas, a sweatshirt, um, Carhartt overalls. We're gonna do some boots, a jacket, and a hat. You think you'll be warm for a few minutes? <laughs> Okay, let's do it. Put her arms down. Da da da. <laughs> she can't get her arms. Look at mama. Might be able to lift Let me see you. Let me see. You look so cute and bundled. <laughs> snowed in. <laughs> we are under our covered patio and we really thought that things would be okay um, under here but everything got snowed on including her little car that she's a little upset about. She's like wait. <laughs> okay. The snow just came in from every angle um, and obviously it's covered but there's no walls so it, there's like six inches of snow inside of here too oh so. gosh there's so much snow in there <laughs> it definitely like oh. fell and piled into her car hey sorry baby go sit with your brother whoa <laughs> she's like a big old marshmallow come here go with oh finn sit on his lap he'll keep you safe oh <laughs> hey Sure about this whole thing. Yay! We can't
All right, we had so much fun with Brielle. She she definitely was kind of like iffy on the whole snow thing. Of course, she's not feeling her best, so that's part of it. Um, but she's been like kind of freaked out by how cold it is. Like she does not, she's not a big fan. Um, but it was really nice getting out and just making some memories with the kids. We actually drove the truck around, which was nice because it made some pathways for us. It's been a few hours since we've been out to check on animals. They've been doing really good. We only have goats and chickens. And uh, for the most part, uh, they handle the weather, this kind of weather, pretty well. Um, but their water freezes quite often. <laughs> so we're constantly coming out here breaking up the ice um, in their water. And it's a lot of work. Hopefully soon we'll have a better system. But this was our first freeze, our first winter. And so we kept it simple, but it's definitely made it so we have a lot more work so <clears throat> eventually we'll have warmers probably in our water that way it actually doesn't freeze every two hours when it, i think tonight it's supposed to get down to zero degrees i wonder what it is right now it's probably in, in the low teens maybe even single digits right now all right let's see Here's their water, let's see. Not too bad, not too bad, honestly. Oh. It's frozen, but not terrible. You can see all around it is ah, thick ice. All right, girls are getting their dinner. And then I do like to take a scooper to scoop out any big chunks. Look at all this ice we've already scooped out the last day or so. <sighs> Looks good. Good night, girls. <laughs> Lights out and close the barn. I just, I have to say how beautiful it is though. Sun is going down, such a nice sunset. The blanket of snow makes it extra beautiful. <sighs> Last thing we gotta do is check, on, check and make sure our chickens are all in for the night. I'm hoping they are, cause it's a little bit early, but it's cold. <laughs> so we're gonna, oh no, here they all are, hanging out under the tree. I'm just chit-chatting over here. Well, most of you are smart enough to come in. She's getting some food. They're, get, they're getting in for the night, settling in. All right, 16's going in. That's all of them. We can close up the coop for the night. Yeah, you heard that right. If... <laughs> Um, if you knew from the beginning, we had 20 and we've just slowly lost a couple here and there from predators. Um, one was a neighbor dog, um, a couple we don't really know about, um, which was really hard and really sad, but part of farm life and also figuring out what works, what doesn't work, how to keep your chickens safe in a new environment because <laughs> everything's different here. Uh, in California, a neighbor dog would never because all of our yards are fenced and stuff and that is not really the case around here. People just kind of let their dogs roam. It's very interesting. I would never not know where Luna is, but some people just don't um, always do that. So anyways, and we also, we had one duck left <laughs> and we were, we loved him because he thought he was a chicken and he just hung out with the chickens. But he was kind of rude. He was kind of rude. He did start to chase us. We th we're hoping that he was a she. She never laid eggs, and she eventually started to mate, try to mate with our chickens. So we had to get rid of him, <laughs> but he did go to a nice farm on a pond, and he's a very happy chicken, a very Not happy heaven. duck now. Not heaven. Not heaven. <laughs> he is a happy duck. He's got some girlfriends now, and um, yeah. So all that's taken care of. We just got our 16 chickens left now. 
Oh, and look at my other babies. Hi, baby girl. What do you think of all this cold? Do you want to come out or are you going to stay in?